work for the weekend and then I checked my phone and a woman from London DM'd me and asked if she could interview me about my eating disorder and about mental health because she saw my TikTok and I guess I inspired her in some way which that then inspired me to make more TikToks about mental health so I just sat down and made a four part series about mental health which was really really fun and I didn't even realize how much I needed that but it was like therapy to me to talk through that so I prayed over those TikToks I hope that they reach the right people and that they inspire people to know that they're not alone and that they can get through this but now I'm gonna do a little workout because that is my number one way to turn my mood around is do a workout in the sunshine I've talked about this woman before but her name is growing Ananas I think that's how you pronounce it on YouTube and she has so many free workouts and I just love her workouts so much so I play her video and then I put in music and listen to my own music while I'm watching the video and doing it with her Ah, it's so much fun. I love her workouts and I literally have to make myself take rest days because I don't want to because I love her workouts so much and I want to do them every single day. I have to force myself to take a break. That's how much I love them. So let's turn this day around and do a workout. I'm trying to turn it off. I can't keep my finger on the button. <laughs> that you don't have to work out for hours a day to get in shape and be healthy. I just did a 30 minute workout and it challenged me. It got my heart rate up and it was the perfect amount of time where I don't feel completely dead now. I feel more energized, which is the point of exercise. It's better to do 20 minutes a day instead of a two hour workout one time a week, beat yourself up and then not be able to exercise the rest of the week, you know? It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. This is about creating a sustainable lifestyle that you can maintain for the long term that makes you feel good. By the way, at the end of that, there was a five minute wall sit. Ow! That's all I have to say about that. But I did it, I held it for the full five minutes. I have no idea how, I think I dissociated from my legs for that five minutes. Yeah. Also PSA, wash your face slash shower immediately after your workout. I used to wait so long and eat like a big breakfast and go on my phone and stretch and all this stuff before washing my face. And my face has cleared up a lot since I started washing it right after exercise. I don't know if it has a direct correlation, but I think that it has something to do with it. So PSA. I made a little post-workout smoothie bowl. I actually put frozen cauliflower in it this time. I've never done that before, but I saw someone else do it, and I knew that we had frozen cauliflower that I was not gonna eat because one time I tried to cook frozen cauliflower and like eat it not frozen, obviously, and it tasted so bad. So I knew I wasn't gonna eat that cauliflower cooked. So I put it in the smoothie and you can't even taste it. So it just tastes good and you get extra nutrients from the cauliflower. Yeah, that's my little tip of the day. Add frozen or not frozen vegetables into your smoothies because you can't even taste it and it's just added health benefits. I'm really hungry and so I need to eat before I can speak because my brain needs some nutrients. This is my OOTD. I never do these because I never like my outfit, but I went thrift shopping yesterday and I got a bunch of clothes and so now I'm gonna show you my outfit. It's nothing much, it's just some shorts and a tank that I cropped from Goodwill and then this little, what are these called, like shawls, cardigan? No, I don't know, a little pullover. And look at this necklace, is this not the cutest thing ever? It's so cute, it's a little butterfly, I love butterflies. And also some socks and Pumas, which, unpopular opinion, Pumas are better than Air Force Ones. Don't at me. Okay, I'm going back to Goodwill because yesterday I literally went off at Goodwill. I've never gotten so many clothes at Goodwill at one time in my entire life, but the dressing rooms aren't open, so I didn't know if anything would fit. And with thrift shopping especially, you never know how anything's gonna fit because it's just kind of like random pieces and all the sizing is different. 
and stuff like that. Um, so I brought it all home and tried it all on. And then there was a good amount of stuff that didn't fit. So I'm going to go take it back and return it. Is it that much money that I really need to return all this stuff? Like, no, I would be fine if I didn't. But I like to save my money and I don't like to waste my money. And knowing that I'm not going to use these, even though nothing was expensive, I still want to return them and get my money back. Thrift gods were literally, literally speaking to me yesterday. Like, I can't even explain. I was driving and then I looked up Goodwill's closest to me and the one closest by I was like nah I don't have a good feeling about that one and then I clicked on the one second close closest by second second close second nearest and then I was like I don't have a good feeling about that one either and then I clicked on the one that was third farthest away and it was like a 15 minute drive to get there and I just had a really good feeling about it I was like that's the one I need to go to like something's just telling me I need to go to this goodwill like literally God spoke to me and told me which thrift shop I needed to go to and I went off. So I'm gonna go through my closet soon and get rid of so many clothes that are just not serving me anymore and make me feel like my past self that I don't even want to be associated with. <laughs> so, for now, let's drive to Goodwill. Bro, they don't do refunds. You get store credit. I did not know that. If I had known that, I would not have gotten all the clothes that I got. I was thinking just go home try them on and then if they don't fit just get a refund no they don't do that um that's okay i'll have a fun thrift shop experience again without having to pay the next time darn it that hurt it a little bit i i don't like wasting money everything's fine i will be fine sometimes i do this really fun game with myself because i'm the worst with directions literally ever i've never met anyone in my life that is as bad with directions as i am even in my hometown i still can't get home without maps it's really bad so i play this fun game with myself where i try to get home without my maps so i'm about 22 minutes away from my house don't know in which direction but i'm gonna find my way home um, I'm fine just chilling, listening to music, and maybe going the long way, so we're gonna find our way home somehow! I don't even know what street this street leads to, we will find out! Don't worry y'all, I made it home. I also just had an impromptu photo shoot at the park in front of a bunch of people with my ring light with one of my new shirts that I thrifted because I love this top and I really wanted to post a picture in it. Um, it says Stanford, which I thought was funny because I go to USC, in case you didn't know. I'm gonna post it and say, I'm transferring. See if anyone falls for it. I bet I'll get at least one text saying, you're transferring to Stanford? No, I was just joking. I'm not transferring to Stanford. You don't get to skip me like that again. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. It was just a shirt I found at Goodwill. But now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for, and that is the thrift haul. I'm so excited to show y'all. Maybe you're not waiting for this at all, but I'm excited to show you because again, the thrift gods were on my freaking side. And we all love days like that when you just feel like you're winning because there's been a lot of losses in the past year. You know what I mean? So it's the little things. Next, I got this red tank top. Yes, another red tank top. I've really been liking wearing red. So I got a bunch of tank tops at Goodwill of different colors. I'm not gonna show all of them because I'll be super repetitive. But basically, I'm thinking about taking most of the tank tops and just cropping them to make little crop tops because Urban Outfitters, I was looking on the website the other day, not because I shop there, I don't shop there, but just because I was looking um, at different tank top styles because I knew I wanted to get certain tank tops at Goodwill to crop them and so I was looking at their website and they literally sell tank tops for like 25 bucks and I got all these tank tops at Goodwill for like three dollars each and then I can just crop them and they look exactly the same and they're just as good quality if not better than the ones from Urban Outfitters. Next. Okay this next top is super unique. I've never seen anything like it before and I really like it. It's sheer on the sleeves. It looks like it's sheer in the middle too but there's a little covering in between so it's not see-through. But it has like a tiger on it right here. I just love getting super unique things at Goodwill. That's what it's good for is that everything you buy is unique and kind of one of a kind even though at one point it wasn't one of a kind so technically there's probably more in the world but as opposed to like getting something at Urban Outfitters and then seeing everyone that you see around in the same clothes as you I love shopping at Goodwill and then it's all unique and they're like where'd you get that and you're like at the thrift store for two dollars I love it next 
Okay, another red top. A little sporty. This one's really bright. Wow, it looks so bright in the camera. But it has a little flower on it. This was definitely a grandma's shirt, and I'm totally okay with that. It's very comfy. The shoulders are a little small because I have really broad shoulders, but I like it. Again, it's unique. Oh god, okay, we're done with that. Do you guys like this? Next is this little sweater top. Again, definitely a grandma's, but I love it. I literally love it. I love this color. It's comfortable. I can wear it in the summer. And I could even crop it, make it a crop shirt, but I kind of like it like this. Maybe tuck it in. Guys, this is making me so happy trying on all these clothes because I love when I can buy good stuff at Goodwill. Like, it literally brings me so much joy and satisfaction. I think that even if I become rich one day, I will still shop at Goodwill just for the satisfaction I get from finding super unique things at Goodwill. Mark my words. Let's let's hold me to it. Let's, let's see if I still do once I'm rich. Got some stripes. This is also kind of like sweater material, but I literally saw a shirt just like this on a little small business. Instagram the other day and I almost bought it and then I went to Goodwill and I found this like what I literally manifested these clothes no joke I literally was driving there I'm saying literally so many times today I need to cut that out I was actually driving there and in my head I said I am manifesting all the good clothes and I listed all the colors of the clothes I hoped to find and even visualized specific clothes that I hoped to find similar items and I literally did I just said literally again it's just crazy okay and then this is a men's top as you can probably tell I thought that it would be cute if I maybe cut off the collar and so it was just like this. Obviously, I'll make it look a little better than that, but um, I just really liked the print and I wear oversized clothes 99% of the time. So gotta look in the men's section. Pro tip for thrifting, always look in the men's section. I go to the men's section first. The t-shirts, athletic clothing, rack is where a lot of the sweatshirts are and the sweatpants, which always go for men's sweatpants because they're so much comfier and you can get them baggy and it's just so much comfier. Sweatshirts, which I wear so many of in the winter. I have a good collection of Goodwill sweatshirts. Go to the men's section. Okay, this is the next one. I like it. I feel like my mom would have worn this 10 years ago. Like I can totally picture her whole outfit with a shirt like this. I don't really have a style right now. That's my problem. I was gonna say a lot of them aren't my style, but the thing is I don't have a style. My style is just all over the place, which kind of makes it even more fun when I go shopping at somewhere like Goodwill because I can get all of these clothes that don't go together at all and are just so different, but I'll just make different outfits of them and that becomes my style. It's just kind of a little bit here and a little bit there and it's really fun and again unique and that's what I want to be. I want to be unique. I don't want to be like the rest of them, you know, just kidding. Next. Okay, I also got this little shawl pullover, wear over a crop top thing. I don't know, I feel like a hippie when I'm wearing it and I really like the vibes of it. Sometimes when I'm shopping, I just envision an outfit that I might never be able to create, but just the idea that it might happen and that this piece would look good with the outfit if it did ever happen is enough for me to buy it. So I really like this and the vibes. What do you think? Next! Okay, this is a shirt that also could very easily be interpreted as being very ugly, but if you just close both eyes and think about it being cute, it becomes cute. No, really. You can make anything cute if you pair it with the right things and if you're confident in wearing it. So that's what I'm gonna be when I'm wearing this. My grandma would actually wear this. I'm gonna send her a picture of this and she's gonna say that she loves it. Watch. I also got these pants. They're men's pants, but they fit me perfectly. And I already have some outfits that I wanna wear with these. I have just a couple more things. Hang in there, hang in there, okay? Just a couple more things. Don't leave. Also, I got a couple bags. I don't even use bags, but I thought they were cute and they were each $3, and so I got them. This is the first one. I'm obsessed with green and brown right now, and red. So I got this. It's just a cute little satchel. Look, it looks so good with this shirt. It literally matches this shirt. Look at that. Like, I'm getting so excited about these things. And this is the second one. I'm not kidding, I found a small business Instagram the other day with purses that look exactly like this. Exactly like this. Exactly like this. And I made sure that it wasn't actual fur because 
Hashtag veganism. Was that fun to watch? I hope it was fun to watch. I hope that my joy of finding these clothes just brought you joy just because I was joyful. I'm gonna read y'all a caption that I posted a few weeks back about fast fashion just because I did just do a thrifting haul and the main reason that I thrift shop as opposed to shopping at conventional shops is for sustainability purposes. Secondhand shopping is a great way to not only save money but also save the earth. And let me tell you why. In one year, the fast fashion industry produces over 92 million tons of waste, consumes over 79 trillion tons of water, emits over 1.7 billion tons of CO2. In North America alone, over 10.5 million tons of textile waste is sent to landfills each year. And yes, clothes that are sent to thrift shops that are not bought are also part of that landfill issue. And so it's also overconsumption. That is a huge issue as well. But I ended the caption with, need I say more? I'm not asking that you completely turn your life upside down, but just be more aware of your decisions and the impact they make on the environment. Two years ago, the Intergovernmental Panel of Climate Change issued a statement concluding that we only have 20 years before climate change becomes completely irreversible. Whether or not you want to believe this, since it's become very evident over the past year that many people think they know more than scientists do, little bit of shade. It's crucial that we all do our part to reduce our carbon footprint and contribute to a more equitable, sustainable world. Our children are quite literally, this time I meant literally as in literally, depending on us. So I'm gonna end the vlog there with a little food for thought. What choices are you making every single day and are you aware of how they're impacting the environment and the world around you? Because a lot of times it just comes down to awareness. We don't realize that what we're doing is impacting the world negatively until we research it or until someone tells us. So just do your part and do your research and try to make little choices every single day that will lead to a more equitable world. That's what will get us where we need to go is all of us making little choices every single day that add up to big choices and big impact. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I hope that this vlog brought you a little bit of joy today. Reminder that we're gonna get through this and that you're not alone and that we're all in this together. I promise I can sing. I always sing the words that I'm saying and I sing them really bad, but I promise I can actually sing. But that doesn't matter. Anyway, I will see you guys in next week's video. I love you so much. Mwah.